Hi friends, this is Satish Rawal and today I am going to teach you a few science and technology idioms. Right. The first one is it's not a rocket science. When we express this language, when you want to tell people that it's not that difficult and it's very easy to understand. When something is very easy to understand, you can say it's not a rocket science. Okay. The second one is I need to recharge my batteries. My God, do we have batteries in our body? No. But this is what the idiom is. When you say I need to recharge my batteries, you want to say you are tired, you are exhausted, right? You have no energy left in your body and you want to say you want to recharge my batteries. I want to recharge my batteries. Actually, you want to relax, you want to recover your energy, you want to rejuvenate. The third one is a well wild machine, right? A well wild machine, right? If something or someone is a well wild machine and whenever we express this language, we mean to say that works smoothly. Right. If you say that our team is good enough and maybe and it is a well wild machine, you want to say our team is working smoothly and there is no such difficulty in operation. Right. The next one is to be on the same wavelength. Right. To be on the same wavelength. It's very easy to understand. Actually, it's not a rocket science. When People are there together, maybe two people, three people, and they have the same ideas and opinions about something. And they can say they are on the same wavelength. They are on the same wavelength. The next one, t next one is to push one's buttons. My God, buttons, fish buttons, All right? Actually, to push one's buttons means to make someone angry, means you know the trick you know the technique how to make someone angry and you know someone's maybe some weak point and you can easily make people angry especially among friends and family we know everyone's weaknesses and when we tease them we annoy them and we make them angry so sometimes we can say uh, suppose mostly children know about their parents and parents know about children right and they say that okay he knows how to push her mother's button how to push her mother's button right here when you speak this language you just want to say make someone angry when, when make someone angry push someone's button the last one is to blow a fuse fuse right normally we use the word fuse in electrical things right we have meters we have fuses in our houses right and we use the word fuse here but what is blowing a fuse blow a fuse means to be angry when people say okay when my dad came to know that i was so late that night and i had given no information in the family and i was late and then my dad blew a fuse so when blow a fuse the terminology you use you mean to say the person is getting angry okay thanks for listening this watching this video and before i finish this video i just want to go a quick in a quicker way to all the idioms that i've used it's not a rocket science simply when it's very easy to understand we use this language i need to recharge my batteries when we are tired we want we use this language to get rejuvenation and relaxation and recovery of energy a well wild machine we use this language to mean that when something works smoothly right so whiling is that while is it's smooth working that's why that gives the sense of smooth work to be on the same wavelength when two or three people are having the same ideas and opinions they are on the same wavelength to push one's buttons make someone angry don't push anyone's button please right the last one is to blow a fuse to be angry okay i'm not going to blow fuse okay thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon my friend thank you